Attention all retirees. This week, the Canada Pension Plan, CPP, is giving an extra $1,400 to eligible retirees. You don't want to miss this opportunity. In this video, we'll explain everything you need to know about this special payment. First, we'll cover who is eligible for the $1,400 payment. Understanding the criteria is crucial to know if you or a loved one can benefit. Next, we'll guide you through how to check your eligibility easily and quickly. Once you know you qualify, we'll walk you through the steps to claim your extra $1,400. This includes necessary documents and deadlines to ensure you receive your payment without any hitches. We'll also address some frequently asked questions to clear up any confusion you might have. These questions cover a range of topics from tax implications to how this payment affects other benefits. Finally, we'll offer some practical tips on how to manage and make the most out of this additional income. Whether you're planning to save it, invest it, or spend it, we have some advice to help you make the best decision for your financial situation. Welcome to today's video, where we have exciting news for retirees in Canada. The Canada Pension Plan, CPP, is sending out an additional $1,400 payment to eligible retirees this week, and you won't want to miss out on this unexpected windfall. In the next few minutes, we'll dive deep into this important development, covering everything you need to know about this extra payment. We'll explore who's eligible, how to check if you qualify, and what this money could mean for your financial well-being in retirement. The Canadian government has recognized the financial challenges many retirees face, especially in light of recent economic uncertainties and rising living costs. This extra payment is part of a broader initiative to provide additional support to seniors who have contributed to the CPP throughout their working lives. You might be wondering if this is too good to be true or if there's a catch. Rest assured, we'll address all your questions and concerns in this comprehensive video. We'll also provide you with actionable steps to ensure you receive this payment if you're eligible. Whether you're a recent retiree or you've been enjoying your golden years for a while now, this information is crucial for you. And even if you're not yet retired, this knowledge could be valuable for your future planning or for helping out your retired loved ones. Let's get started on unraveling the details of this exciting development from the Canada Pension Plan. Your financial boost might be just around the corner. Before we delve into the specifics of this extra payment, it's essential to understand the basics of the Canada Pension Plan. The CPP is a cornerstone of Canada's retirement income system, providing a stable foundation for millions of Canadians in their post-work years. Established in 1965, the CPP is a contributory, earnings-related social insurance program designed to provide a basic level of earnings replacement for workers and their families in the case of retirement, disability, or death. Throughout your working years, you and your employers contribute to the CPP, building up your entitlement to future benefits. The CPP is managed by the Canada Pension Plan Investment Board, CPPIB, an independent organization that invests the assets of the CPP to ensure its long-term sustainability. As of 2024, the CPPIB manages over $500 billion in assets, making it one of the largest pension funds in the world. One of the key strengths of the CPP is its universality. Unlike some pension systems that are tied to specific employers or industries, the CPP covers almost all workers in Canada, regardless of their occupation or where they live, with the exception of Quebec, which has its own similar program called the Quebec Pension Plan. The amount you receive from CPP in retirement depends on several factors, including how much you contributed over your working years, how long you contributed, and the age at which you start receiving your CPP retirement pension. The standard age to start receiving CPP retirement benefits is 65, but you can choose to start as early as 60, with a reduction in benefits, or as late as 70, with an increase in benefits. In recent years, the Canadian government has made several enhancements to the CPP to ensure its long-term sustainability and to improve the financial security of retirees. These enhancements include gradually increasing contribution rates and the maximum pensionable earnings, which will result in higher benefits for future retirees. Now, you might be wondering how this extra $1,400 payment fits into the regular CPP structure. It's important to note that this is not a permanent increase to monthly CPP payments. Instead, it's a one-time additional payment designed to provide extra support to eligible retirees during these challenging economic times. This type of supplementary payment is not unprecedented. The government has previously issued similar one-time payments to seniors to help offset increased living costs or to provide economic stimulus. 
However, what makes this particular payment noteworthy is its size $1400 is a significant amount that can make a real difference in many retirees' lives. As we move forward in this video, keep in mind that while this extra payment is separate from your regular CPP benefits, it's being administered through the same system. This means that if you're already receiving CPP retirement benefits, you're potentially in line for this additional $1,400 payment. But don't worry if you're not currently receiving CPP will cover eligibility criteria in detail shortly. Now that we've covered the basics of the CPP, let's dive into the most pressing question on everyone's mind, who exactly is eligible for this extra $1,400 payment? The government has set specific criteria to determine eligibility, and understanding these is crucial to knowing whether you can expect this financial boost. This payment is targeted at retirees, and to be eligible, you must be at least 60 years old as of the payment date. This aligns with the earliest age at which you can start receiving CPP retirement benefits. However, unlike regular CPP benefits, you don't need to have actually started collecting your pension to be eligible for this extra payment. To qualify, you must have made contributions to the Canada Pension Plan during your working years. The government has set a minimum contribution period of 10 years. This ensures that the payment goes to those who have consistently participated in the CPP system. You must also be a resident of Canada for tax purposes. This means you need to have significant residential ties to Canada, such as a home, spouse, or dependents in the country, or other social and economic ties. If you're a Canadian citizen living abroad, you may still be eligible if you meet certain conditions, such as maintaining residential ties to Canada. The government has implemented income thresholds to ensure that this extra payment reaches those who need it most. To be eligible, your individual net income for the previous tax year must not exceed $120,000. For couples, the combined net income threshold is set at $200,000. These thresholds are designed to target middle and lower income retirees who may be more vulnerable to economic pressures. Interestingly, you don't need to be currently receiving CPP retirement benefits to be eligible for this extra payment. However, if you are receiving certain other government benefits, it may affect your eligibility. For example, if you're receiving the Guaranteed Income Supplement, GIS, or the allowance, you will automatically be eligible for this extra payment, regardless of your CPP contribution history. If you're receiving CPP disability benefits and meet the age requirement, you're also eligible for this extra payment. This inclusion recognizes the additional financial challenges often faced by individuals with disabilities. Similarly, if you're receiving CPP survivor benefits and meet the other eligibility criteria, you may also qualify for this payment. This ensures that those who have lost a spouse are not left out of this additional support. For most eligible individuals, no application will be necessary. If you're already receiving CPP benefits or other eligible government payments, the extra $1,400 will be automatically deposited into the same account where you receive your regular benefits. However, if you meet the eligibility criteria but are not currently receiving any CPP or related benefits, you may need to apply. We'll cover the application process later in this video. It's important to note that this extra payment is considered taxable income. While you'll receive the full $1,400 upfront, you should set aside a portion for taxes, depending on your overall income and tax situation. While the CPP is a federal program, there may be some variations for Quebec residents who contribute to the Quebec Pension Plan, QPP, instead. If you're a Quebec resident, check with Retrate Chubeck for specific details about a similar payment under the QPP. Remember, meeting one or even most of these criteria doesn't automatically guarantee eligibility. You need to meet all the relevant criteria to qualify for the payment. In the next section, we'll discuss how you can verify your eligibility and what steps you might need to take to ensure you receive the payment if you qualify. Now that we've outlined the eligibility criteria, you're probably eager to find out if you qualify for this extra $1,400 payment. Let's walk through the steps you can take to check your eligibility and ensure you receive the payment if you're eligible. The first step is to verify your CPP contribution history. You can do this by logging into your My Service Canada account online. If you don't have an account, you can create one using your social insurance number, SIN, and some personal information. Once logged in, you can view your CPP contribution history and see if you meet the minimum 10-year contribution requirement. Ensure that you meet the age requirement of 60 years or older as of the payment date. Also, confirm that you meet the residency requirements for tax purposes. 
if you've been filing your taxes in Canada, you likely meet this criterion. Check your previous year's tax return to confirm that your income falls within the eligible thresholds. Remember, the limit is $120,000 for individuals and $200,000 for couples. If you're already receiving CPP retirement benefits, CPP disability benefits, or other eligible government payments like the GIS, you don't need to take any action. The extra $1,400 will be automatically deposited into the same account where you receive your regular benefits. If you meet the eligibility criteria but are not currently receiving any CPP or related benefits, you may need to apply for this extra payment. The application process will be handled through Service Canada. Keep an eye on the Service Canada website or call their helpline for information on when and how to apply. Even if you're set to receive the payment automatically, it's a good idea to ensure that Service Canada has your current information. Log into your My Service Canada account to verify your address and direct deposit information. Service Canada will be sending out notifications to eligible individuals. Keep an eye on your